All right, what's going on, you guys? Don't have a lot of time because um, I went away for a couple of days and left my charger to my laptop there. So <laughs> um, as soon as this laptop die, I can't make any more video. At least I can't upload any videos using it in my MacBook, all right? So anyway, let's get right into it. Terrence Crawford, brilliant performance. I mean, Jesus. I mean, I know I just, I think I put him at number four in my top five pound from pound. But, I mean, damn, it's like every time you think he's good and you think he's an, a, an elite fighter and you think he's at his peak or his, his his prime, he proves to you that he's even he's still getting better, as good as I think he is right now, okay? The only thing I think Terrence Crawford is missing at this point is that superstar name on his resume, you know, that will, I guess, catapult his uh, his fame. That's all he really needs. You know, I mean, I mean, even at 147 at this point right now, I don't think anybody could beat him. You know, I mean, people are going to sit here and say, uh, listen, I know I, I I spoke on this fight, right? And I said that this was going to be a tough fight for Terrence Crawford, that I thought this would be his toughest fight. And, you know, I, a few of you guys, shout out to the few that said in my video, like, nah, I think Terrence Crawford is going to make easy work. And you guys were right. You know, I mean, I thought he was going to win, but I mean, God damn, like, I didn't think he was just going to shut this dude out like that and stop him, too. You know, I mean, it seems like every time Crawford fights someone else, he shows he beats them in a different way. You know, talk about making a great use of your height and your reach advantage. I mean, people have the height and reach. Like, like I was just saying, he, you know, Diaz is used to fighting guys that are taller than him. You know, he's used to fighting. He fought uh, uh, Sam, uh, Sammy Vasquez and uh, he fought uh, Adrian Granados. You know, he's fought these guys, even Lamont Peterson. And look what happened when Terrence Crawford fights him. He made easy work of him. He made it look like it was nothing. He just boxed them up, you know, jabbed them to death, you know, and. I mean, I've seen good fighters get outboxed, but I mean, god damn, like, you know, I was looking, I didn't watch too many videos leading up to this fight, but I seen that there were some boxing channels, some that I don't even subscribe to or never heard of before, but, you know, you know those little side videos that be, like, connected to whatever video you're watching, and you see other channels out there talking about it, there were some channels that thought Diaz was going to pull off the upset. And for Terrence Crawford to beat him that easily, I mean, god damn. I mean, you might not rate Felix Diaz as high of, as I do, but I mean, shit. Like, he, yo, him and, and Lomachenko, what they're doing to their opponents that are good opponents, I mean, they're just destroying them. You know, he's, he's not even making it close. I don't know, man, but I'm going to tell you right now. I don't know. You guys could blast me. I don't really care. He's better than Andre Ward right now. He's better than Sergey Kovalev right now. I, I think right now, I think he's better than the two of them. If this was Andre Ward in the Super 6 tournament when he was at comfortable at 168, he was much faster, uh, he was a lot more explosive, then a, that's a different conversation. You know, I think that would be more of a debate. But right now, as far as what I see as far as talent, I think Terrence Crawford is the complete package right now. I want to see him. I wish I could have seen him fight Floyd. I'm going to go that far and say that. Yeah, just what? Because you be a Felix Diaz. You going to say all that. Yeah, man. That kid is good, man. That kid is really, really good. He just need. He doesn't have a Carl Frotch on his resistance. I can't put him at number one. And he, he doesn't have the names that some of these other guys have, you know, but man, I mean, pound for pound, if he were to get in the ring with anybody, I will put my bet on Terrence Crawford, you know, I think at 147, those guys are in trouble, when he moves up to 147, those guys are in trouble, because this guy is going to, just when you think you know how he fights, he brings you a whole different angle to his game. He keeps improving as good as he is already. All right. Um, I can't wait to see. I'm very excited to see what he does next.
You know, if he's if he's, I hope he can get the Pacquiao fight. Um, I would love to see that fight. You know, because to be honest with you, I think he could beat Manny Pacquiao, and I think he could look a lot more impressive beating him than Floyd Mayweather did. You know, at this stage in his career, um, whatever you guys can bash me, dislike it, whatever. That's just what I see. Um, I know Felix Diaz is not a huge name. OK, but I, re I, I I know what I've seen in that kid and that kid is that kid could fight, you know, outside, inside. But when it came to Terrence Crawford, Terrence Crawford made him look pathetic in there. OK, and it was hurting him at that. All right. He was toying with this guy. You don't toy with a guy like that. You know, how many upsets do we see in boxing? You know, we see fights where we think a guy is going to go in there and outbox someone and then when we're going to end up being a close fight, you know, Terrence Crawford has made easy work of anyone that he should have made easy work of or anyone that seemed to be a dangerous fight for him. You know, Philly Diaz, uh, uh, what's his name? Um, the last guy he just beat to unify. Um, I can't think of his name right now. I don't know why I can't think of his name. I talk about him all the time. Victor Postal. All right. That was supposed to be a dangerous fight for him. Made easy work. You know, even beating Hunt, Hank Lundy the way he did. You know, Hank Lundy, I know he's taking some losses, but no one beat him easily like that before. You know, his fights were either, either debatable or he gave them away. All right. Terrence Crawford, most gifted boxer in, in, the, in the game. I was listening to Fix, uh, Fair Shake the other day. He's talking about Lomachenko and comparing the two. And I agree 100%. Lomachenko is the only other guy in boxing right now that's doing what... Terrence Crawford is doing, you know, that I look at and be like, damn, like that's mega talented. But Loma got to give him more of the uh, reflexes. You know, the guy is is, is is an amazing athlete. He's able to do the impossible, do things that Roy Jones, Mike Tyson, super athletic fighters with the skill. He has the skill, but Terrence Crawford and his fundamentals, he, he, that was a great video he did. Um, Check that out. If you haven't checked out Fair Shake uh, Boxing, Check his video out because he, he he explained it perfectly and I, I agree with him. You know, I was talking about, I remember when I did a post-fight video on Russell Jr. against Lomachenko and I was like, Russell, Russell Jr., he's has he has one of the fastest hands in boxing and Lomachenko was able to make him look slow. You know, um, I think Lomachenko's feet was quicker than Russell's hands. You know, that's how fast, that's how athletic and, 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 and the re reflexes he had. Um, so great. But anyway, uh, I don't want to get off track. Russ, uh, I, I think Terrence Crawford right now, and he's still improving, is probably probably all around the most gifted fighter in boxing today. I'm going to say that, and I'm going to just leave it at that. You can say what you want. I still rate him at number four because I need him. Yeah, I might move him up, man. I, I, just, I don't even want to think about that right now. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm going to do a bunch of quick videos today, all right? Nothing long because I don't have much time on my laptop, much juice on here, all right? So um, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And check out the other videos I'll put out. All right, peace.